there's a new must-have tool for VJs. The one and only Yoris from Hybrid Constructs, the creator of Chaser and Stageflow, has just released his latest creation, Pulse. And it's the easiest and best way to BPM sync your visuals. I got it, let's try it and rate them one through 10. This is Pulse. It's got your BPM readout right here and a tap button. Simple, hover at the top to get to settings and make sure that it's set to your audio device. Once it is, you can see that it's listening with this level bar and give it about five taps to get started. It turns green to let you know that it's locked on to the tempo. After tapping the tempo once, it stays aligned to the BPM of the incoming audio. This is much better than manually tapping the tempo inside of Resolume, which can be slightly inaccurate and prone to drifting out of sync over time and needs to be reset every time there's a tempo change. While there might be some other BPM detection algorithms that will give you the right BPM, they don't necessarily stay in sync on beat. Pulse applies advanced BPM analysis and rhythm detection to not only keep track of the BPM, but also the beat position, keeping you perfectly in sync. Pulse communicates with Resolume over Ableton Link. Ableton Link is a technology that allows link-enabled software and devices to synchronize musical beat, tempo, and phase on the same computer or over a network. This means that Pulse not only works with Resolume, but other link-enabled software as well, like VDMX, MadMapper, and Touch Designer. But I use Resolume, so let's hop in and set this up. Setting up Ableton Link is pretty simple. If you don't see the button here already, just go to View, Show Ableton Link. And then press this Link button, and we're connected. Once you do that, you can see that Pulse is sending BPM data to Resolume. You might notice that the BPM value is slightly off around number and making micro adjustments. This is Pulse actively working to keep beat position accurate. If there are drastic changes in tempo or lulls in the music, it may temporarily turn gray and lose confidence. Just give it a nudge with a tap or wait for the rhythm to come back in and it's right back on track. If you need to resync because the beat position feels off, just hold Alt and tap the resync button. Pulse is designed to float on top of open applications so that you can see it while Resolume is open. You can scale it up and down and reposition it anywhere in your UI that makes sense for you. Pro tip, and shout out to Christian here who I saw doing this and thought it was a great idea. You can create some space in your interface for Pulse by creating an extra blank monitor panel. Pulse pairs great with Chaser, ensuring that your chase patterns hit on beat every time without having to think about fixing your tempo first. If you want to learn more about Chaser or Stageflow, check out these videos. Thanks for watching. Peace.